Okay, so we are going to do some practice problems with velocity and acceleration. So remember that um, <clears throat> you know velocity is kind of like speed. It's the how fast you're going and, and the and the direction you're going, and acceleration is how much your velocity is changing. So uh, we've got two equations we're going to use: delta x equals v times t. So change in position equals velocity times time. And our other one is velocity at the end equals my velocity at the beginning plus my acceleration and uh, times the time that I was accelerating. And so we can work with those and we can come up with a couple other uh, useful equations too. Uh, one of them would be that my acceleration equals my change in velocity divided by my change in time. Uh, and if I were to look at this one, if I just rearrange it a little bit, I can get that uh, velocity equals my change in position divided by my change in time. And hopefully what you see here is that these two uh, equations are pretty similar, right? Velocity is change in distance over change in time, and acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. Okay, so hopefully that uh, is uh, clear for you there. Um, what we are going to do next is we're going to walk through some of these problems as examples. So this first one says, if Mr. Harris walks 150 meters to the front office and it takes him two minutes to get there, what is his velocity? Okay, so first of all, if I know I'm looking for velocity, that's what I'm going to try to find. And my equation for velocity, we just wrote it down, uh, was v equals change in position divided by change in time. So I'm looking for velocity, uh, but I'm, in order to find that, I'm going to need to know his change in position. So reading that question, we need to figure out what is his change in position. Okay, and it says right here, 150 meters. Okay, so I'll write that right there. What about his chain, what about, like how much time went by in this whole situation? Okay, it says right here, two minutes. And so I'll write that right there. Okay, and now we are ready to plug these into our equation. So we said V equals delta X divided by delta T. Um, Delta X, we know, we just wrote was 150 meters, right? So I'm just going to copy that right here. 150 meters divided by 2. Oh, you know what? Let's be careful here. Those are not meters. Those are minutes. Okay, divided by 2 minutes. So what is his velocity? Well, I'm just going to punch that into my calculator. Uh, and I will end up with uh, 150 divided by 2. That's just 75. Okay, so we'll come over here and we will say that equals 75. Now here's a little tricky thing. 75 what? If you just write 75, that's wrong. You gotta tell me what you're talking about. So 75 meters is what we had on the top divided by, what do we have on the bottom? Minutes. And so, just like we've seen before, uh, our velocity has a distance divided by time. So that was a really easy question, but that's all you got to do for all these. So let's look at the next one. I got to get down here to my mouse, scroll down a little bit, and we see that. Okay, for this one, it says 25 seconds before the bell rings, CJ decides he needs to get to class. He has a velocity. Okay, so it went ahead and told us the velocity here. His velocity of 5 meters per second. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. V equals 5 meters per second. And looking up here, we skip, kind of skip this, but it says 25 seconds before the bell rings. So something about time is going to be 25 seconds. Okay, let's keep reading. How far away from the classroom? Uh, okay, so how far? That's asking me a question there, right? How far? We're trying to find a distance. And so that's going to be our delta x. And that's what we're looking for, right? That's what the question wants to know. Um, so how far from the classroom door is CJ if he needs the entire 25 seconds to get to the classroom doorway? Okay, so we have a delta X, we have a V, we have a T. This should be easy, right? We said earlier that V equals delta X 
divided by uh, delta t, or t in this case, either one's fine. They basically mean the same thing. Um, but this would be if we were trying to find velocity. It told us velocity, right? Uh, and it told us uh, time. It's asking for distance. So what we need to do is get distance by itself. And in order to do that, I'm going to use different colors so you can kind of highlight, see what I'm doing. Just do a little bit of algebra here. I only get this delta x by itself. And in order to do that, I need to get rid of the delta t. Well, right now, delta t is being divided, right? It's, it's delta x is being divided by delta t. So I need to do the opposite of divide by in order to get rid of that. And the opposite of divide by is multiply by. So what I'm going to do is divide or multiply this side by delta t. And if I multiply that side by delta t, then it's only fair if I also multiply this side by delta t. Okay, now let's go back to blue, switch back to our main thing here, and let's write what we have. So on this side I have delta t times v, so delta t times v equals, now over here I have delta x, and then we divided that by delta t and multiplied it by delta t. And since those are opposite from each other, multiply and divide are opposite of each other, they're inverses, as we say, they cancel each other out. So we end up with this equation here, okay? So now what you need to do, or what we need to do, is plug in our numbers for delta t and v, and that will give us our answer. So this equals, now delta t, or t, because I, you know, delta, remember, just means the change in time, or how much time went by. 25 seconds went by, right? Okay, so delta t is going to be 25 seconds. And v is 5 meters per second. Make sure we write our units. Okay, and then we're ready to just plug that in a calculator. Or you might be able to do this in your head. If you think, well, what's, what's 4 times 25? That's 100, right? So 5 times 25 would be 125. And so I'll write that over here. If you don't trust me on that, just punch it in a calculator. I promise you I'm correct. <laughs> I'm not always correct, but I do know I'm correct on this time. So 125, and then we need to think about what our units are. Um, we have meters times seconds divided by seconds. So remember, if I'm timesing and dividing by something, kind of like up here, they go away. And so time seconds divided by seconds, they cancel out, and I'm just left with 125 meters, which makes sense that my answer would be in meters because my question is asking how far, so I need to be telling a distance. Okay, so that one also, you know, once we kind of work through it, pretty easy. All right, last one I'm going to do as an example, and then you'll do the rest on your own. Uh, we have a football player running at two meters per second. Okay, first thing I'm going to ask myself, what is two meters per second? What does that mean? Okay, so two meters per second is a velocity. Uh, then it says he speeds up for five seconds. So, okay, so we've got something about, uh, you know, five seconds, some amount of time went by. So we had a change in time of five seconds. Uh, and he reaches a final velocity. Ooh, okay, so this is interesting. I had a velocity here. I'm going to call this velocity one. And then I have a final velocity, or my later on velocity velocity 2 of 8 meters per second. Okay, 8 meters per second. All right, and it says, what is their acceleration? All right, acceleration is what we're looking for. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is crazy. We have too many velocities and time and acceleration and all this stuff. But remember, what, is, what does acceleration mean? What is our equation that we had for acceleration? Oops, other way. Acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time, right? Um, and so what do I mean by change in velocity? Well, if you had $10 and then later on you only had $8, how much did your money change? It changed by $2, right? And so and the way you find that is you just subtract. Uh, and so that's exactly what we're going to do here. So when I say acceleration, oh, I'm just going to write my equation that we had up at the top. Acceleration equals change in velocity 
divided by change in time. Well, change in velocity, we said I'm just going to subtract the two. I'm going to take the second one, so 8 meters per second, and I'm going to subtract the first one, 2 meters per second. That's my change in velocity. My change in time, or how much time went by, that's a lot easier. I just gave it to you 5 seconds. Okay, so again, this is starting to look like something we can handle, right? So what we need to do is not make that mark there. Let's erase that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to subtract what's on top. So 8 minus 2 equals 6 meters per second. Divided by, well, we don't have anything. That's just still just going to be 5, right? Five seconds. So when we do this now, that's just fraction. We'll just punch that in our calculator. So uh, we're going to take six divided by five is one point two. All right, come over here. Right, one point two. And again, we need to figure out our unit. Meters divided by seconds divided by seconds again. Right, not time seconds divided by seconds. They're not going to cancel, they're going to combine together, right? So meters are still there. We have meters. And then I'm divide by seconds twice. So that's meters per second squared. And I'm at the very edge of my little writing thing, so I can't quite get out to do with the mouse. That's a 2. <laughs> uh, 1.2 meters per second squared. Okay, and like we've seen before, Acceleration is what we're looking for. What is their acceleration? That's what we found, and it's meters per second squared. We've seen that before, right? Okay, so there are several examples. What you need to do is you're going to do the rest of these questions on here. There's four more, uh, and you're going to use the same exact kind of math that we've been using on all these. So you can go back and rewatch this as many times as you need to uh, to see how to use these equations and examples, and you should be in good shape.